Good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Tim Rockefeller. First of all, um, when I heard about what happened in, um, in Newtown, I was uh, full of emotion myself, which is very rare. Um, but like other people brought up, you know, that's an isolated incident, and you should never make a law based off emotion. I don't believe any law would have, would have stopped a madman who killed his own mother. That person obviously had issues. Um, one of the things that bothers me about this debate is a lot of people are using improper gun terminology. I was in the Marine Corps. We had M16s and M4s. Those are called assault rifles. Now, a lot of people say that an assault rifle is used in this crime and other crimes. These are not assault rifles. An assault rifle means it can go from semi-automatic, which is one bullet at a time, to fully automatic. These AR-15s are not assault rifles. They are semi-automatic rifles. They just look like assault rifles. They are not the same thing at all, not even close. They are not, as they're, they are not what the military uses. They're not what I used overseas. The term assault weapon is a political term. It is not a gun term. There's no such thing as an assault weapon. Um, that was made up to try to ban AR-15s by coming up with certain characteristics because AR-15s look like M4s, which are fully automatic. So I just want to clear that up, that we're not talking about assault rifles. An ordinary citizen cannot have that. That was not used in the crime. An assault weapon is a made-up term. Um, the only thing that's going to stop a determined bad guy with a gun is a determined good guy with a gun. So other people talked about having cops in the schools. Um, you know, that, that might make sense. But a gun-free zone is just an advertisement for anyone who follows signs. Obviously, uh, a murder is illegal, so being a gun-free zone is going to help any. I also want to bring up what the Second Amendment means. A lot of people don't, don't realize this today. It was about protecting citizens from tyrannical government and also foreign governments. There's a Japanese quote from World War II. One of the Japanese commanders said, we will not invade America because there will be a rifle behind every blade of grass. That is the number one check and balance between tyrannical governments and, federal and, and, and um, foreign governments invading this country. Switzerland was not invaded during World War II because they had a reserve force. Everybody was, in the, everybody was reserve military who had a military-grade weapon, and they were not invaded by Germany when every other country in the area was because Hitler didn't want to invade the, the little porcupine of Switzerland. So when people say that a 30-round magazine isn't necessary and, and, and semi-automatic rifles are not necessary, they are necessary. They're necessary with able-bodied and able-minded people to defend this country. Um, when the Second Amendment talks about the security of a free state, they mean the security of a free state. So a well-regulated militia does not mean the government is regulating firearms. It means individuals that are armed, which was the term militia at the time, and this could be found in the Federalist Papers and what the Founding Fathers wrote, is ordinary, able-bodied, able-minded citizens to defend their community. It, it's sort of like a volunteer fire department. So, also, laws shouldn't be made off necessity anyway. People say, you know, why do you need a 30-round magazine? I just want to leave with this. Why do we need anything? So, basically, anything could be looked at as not being necessary, so we shouldn't make laws based off what we need. Otherwise, pretty much everything will be illegal. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you for being here.